Devi Sita. Devi Sita is a well-known Hindu goddess acknowledged for her courage, purity, dedication, loyalty, and sacrifice. She is the silent figure of strength in the Hindu epic Ramayana. She is the epitome of devotion as a wife, daughter, and a mother. She led a life full of trials and tribulations with strength and courage. She has a strong sense of individuality around her. Sita is worshipped as the incarnation of Lakshmi, the concept of Vishnu. Though often regarded as the embodiment of wifely devotion and self-sacrifice, she is critical of Ram at times, even in the earliest version of the Ramayana. And in some of the later versions of the story, she departs from the idealized chaste image of the earlier text. She is frequently depicted in Indian miniature paintings of the Ramayana in South Indian bronzes. The legend behind Devi Sita's birth is divine and supernatural. She did not emerge from the mother's womb, rather she appeared miraculously in a horror while King Janaka was plowing the field as a part of Vedic ritual in the kingdom of Vidihal, an ancient Indian kingdom in late Vedic India. The site where Sita was born is now located in present-day district, Bihar, India. She was discovered and brought up by King Janaka, the king of Mithila and his wife Sunaina. Janakpur, which is located in the present day province number 2, Nepal, is also described as Devi Sita's birthplace. According to Sanghash, Chen version of Ramayana and Abdut Ramayana, Sita was born as a daughter of Ravan. The astrologers predicted that the first child of Vidyadhara, Maya, will destroy his lineage through Ravan abandons her and orders the infant to be buried in a distant land where she is later discovered and adopted by King Janak. When Sita had come of marriageable age, King Janaka arranged her a swamvo, where the prospective bride chooses her own groom from among a group of suitors who attend the ceremony. The condition was whoever strings Pinaka will get Sita's hand. However, there is an associated legend to this condition as per the Tulsi Das Ramayana. When Lord Parshuram witnessed Devi Sita playing with the mighty bow in a very tender age, he was stunned by her strength as even the gods could not lift that bow. Witnessing this, Valmiki advised King Janak that when the time arrives, Sita should marry to the one who had the courage to string the mighty bow. Only Lord Ram amongst the all suitors could string Lord Shiva's bow and hence won the swam bow. Kakei, Rama's stepmother, compelled King Dashrat to make Bharat king and forced Ram to go into exile for 14 years. Devi Sita had the courage to renounce the comforts of the palace and joined Ram in a 14-year exile in the forest of Gandak and later Panjwat. During her captivity days, she even challenged Ravan to cross the strands of straw placed between them. In the captivity of Ravan in Ashok Vatika, when Hanuman came looking for her, she chose Hanuman not to carry her back to her husband, Lord Ram. She was optimistic that her husband would rescue her. After getting rescued by Lord Ram, this divine goddess decided to give Agni Pariksha to prove her chastity. She is very clear about her position as giving Agni Pariksha was a very powerful sense and not an act of weakness. This was courage and grace of Devi Sita. Lord Ram was forced to heed the words of his Praja 
and in order to protect the moral fabric of his kingdom he asked sita to leave the palace on account of spending months in the territory of another man now devi sita faces yet another exile but this time she was all alone she took refuge in the hermitage of rishi valmiki where she delivered twin boys named love and kush when love and kush got united with their father sita refused to return to the kingdom of ayodhya devi sita took final refuge in the arms of her mother earth mother earth dramatically split open and took devi sita away